Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I will show you how to find the position of a character within a character string in the R programming language. So in the video I'm going to show you several examples and all of these examples are based on the character string that we can create with line 2 of the code. So if you run this line of code you will see that at the top right of RStudio a new character string object appears. And we can also have a look at this character string by running line three of the code. And now you can see that our character string is printed to the RStudio console. And as you can see, this character string is just a random sequence of letters. Now let's assume that we want to know at which position of this character string the character letter B appears. Then we can apply the Greg expression function as you can see in line five of the code. And within the Greg expression function, we simply need to specify the character string or the character pattern for which we want to search. Then we need to write a comma and afterwards we need to specify the name of the data object in which the character string is stored. So if you run line 5 of the code, you will see that at the bottom in the RStudio console, a list is returned and the first entry of this list are the positions of our character B. Now you can also see that this output is not really easy to read and for that reason we can also wrap the unlist function around the Greg expression function as you can see in line 7 of the code. So if you run line 7 of the code, the plain positions of our character B are returned. So as you have seen in the first example, we can use the unlist and the Greg expression functions to return the positions of the character letter B. However, there are also other functions available which are providing the same result. And in the second example, I want to show you how to return the position of a character in a string based on the which function and the string split function. And you can see the code that we need to apply to return the positions in line 9. So if you run line 9 of the code, you will see that at the bottom in the RStudio console exactly the same output is returned as in example 1 of this video. So in other words, we can alternatively use the which and the string split functions to return the positions of the letter B. Yeah, in a third example, I want to show you how to use the string R package to return the position of a character within a character string. The string R package is a very popular package for the manipulation of character strings and therefore I also want to show you an example in which I'm using the string R package. So if we want to use the string R package we first need to install and load the string R package. I have installed the package already so I'm just going to load it with line 12 of the code. And now we can apply the locate all function which is contained in the string R package. And within this function we simply need to specify the pattern for which we want to search and the name of our character string. And if you run line 14 of the code, you will see that at the bottom in the RStudio console, a matrix is returned. And this matrix is showing the starting position of our character pattern and the ending position. So in this case, we have checked for a character pattern which contains only one character. For that reason, the starting position and the ending position is the same. However, if you would use a character pattern which is longer than one character, then the starting positions and the ending positions would be different. So in this video, I have shown you three examples for the identification of character positions in a character string based on the R programming language. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the R programming code of this video in some more detail. And I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can check it out there. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments or if you give me a thumbs up on the video and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.